So I will introduce our project. Yeah. And I think you should start. What is well, Refugee TV for you? You are the boss. No, I'm not. <laughs> not any longer. You, you are taking over. Okay. It's an honor to me. It's uh, a project that uh, will give the other perspective, uh, per, uh, perspective for the refugees. And uh, we, uh, it is a bridge between the refugees and the other communities here and uh, to find the uh, mutual points between the uh, two cultures or many cultures uh, and can we stand on uh, one ground which is the humanity. This is I think the, the main theme of uh, Refugees TV to give the ideas, to give the real images, to give the uh, uh, real facts of uh, uh, this uh, uh, unordinary uh, event or unordinary phenomena for refugees who come in this big waves to Austria or to other countries and it is not just for Austria uh, we hope that it will be uh, for uh, the whole European Union or the whole Euro European uh, um, content and then it will be uh, an international and it is an international now because uh, we are from different na nationalities and uh, we hope it will be bigger than uh, this is start now. Very well said. What do you say Newton? Yeah, um, Refugee TV project is a, it's a project that showcases and uh, magnifies a different um, thinking and a different mindset of refugees with refugees. Yeah, and um, you know most people realize or want to say um, there's really nothing good about refugees. Maybe they are coming for money, or they are coming to take our jobs, uh, or they're coming for one or two things, but. The, the main reason of us bringing up this refugee TV is for us to show them that we have more things for us to give. We have more things for us to show and uh, I think uh, it's a very great start and we are heading somewhere and better things and greater reports that we are going to also bring in through refugee TV. Yeah, that's for me. Yeah. And where are we heading? <clears throat> What are our goals? Our goals to uh, to communicate. Our goals to uh, to make the uh, uh, as my friend said to magnify the mutual points between uh, the cultures and to stand in one ground. And I think it, it's uh, for all of us, which is humanity, and uh, uh, to magnify this aspect and uh, to act for uh, each other in this aspect also and uh, to, to find uh, what what we can do learn from each other we have much to learn from you from me from others and it is very important for people now to know um, each other and then uh, this is the world and I think uh, people might be interested uh, how we met and I think it's a funny story how we met yeah <laughs> Yeah, for, for, for me, it's it's a funny story, you know, and um, I was cooking in my kitchen, yeah, because I'm a good cook, I cook African dishes very well, <laughs> and I was just cooking in my kitchen and I had someone knock at my door and who was that, I had, are you Newton? I said, yes, I'm Newton, okay, I had about you and I went to Taogao and I was told to come here and I said, okay, um, sit, I was already having something on fire, and we just said, okay, this is my idea. I just want to put some group of people together and let's see what we can do with cameras. And I said, okay, I am good in cameras and uh, I have a little bit of concept because um, it's not just to handle camera or it's not just to um, be a presenter. If you don't have a concept, you can't really have a direction. Yeah, so I said, okay, if we have concept, and we should, if we have good thinkers coming together, I think we can make something good. And that was how he met me, and that was how <coughs> we all started. You know? yeah. And our story? Our story uh, by a friend, I think, by Johannes. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah. I am a journalist uh, already. I am a, a TV reporter, and I worked with many different agencies and uh, channels in Iraq. I am a journalist from Iraq, English teacher and a musician also 
so uh, I have the opportunity of, um, from uh, one uh, friend, he's a filmmaker uh, called Johannes, and I wrote some articles. Uh, David know Johannes, and Johannes told him about, and then he called me. Uh, uh, can I um, meet you or, or to do some discussion for uh, filmmaking? I said, yeah, why not? Uh, I wish, because this is my job, this is my profession. So we, have a, uh, we had an appointment and uh, we came, uh, he, uh, David came to me and uh, we had a discussion. And we, uh, from, I think from the first 15 minutes, we, we, we set all the strategies of the making films <laughs> and the reports. And uh, yeah, okay, one, two, three, da, da, da. Then, uh, after that, we started the first report uh, at the borders. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And uh, f for me, the most important, uh, when I was uh, watching TV and I saw the, the pictures and the images of the refugees crisis, I didn't know what to think, to feel. I, I felt helpless. I didn't know what to do and I wanted to uh, make my own picture. In, in German, I would say, ich wollte mir mein eigenes Bild machen. And that's the reason why I went to refugee camps and I did research, I wanted to meet people. And I first wanted to make um, film workshops with refugees because filmmaking is my profession. And then I discovered that there are journalists amongst the uh, um, refugees, filmmakers, cameramen, and this was very interesting. And uh, I realized that there are a lot of people, um, refugees, they, they want to uh, express their point of view. And I, uh, I thought, well, why not uh, build a, a TV station together? <laughs> and that's how, how it all started. And I mean, it, it was uh, great from the first uh, day on because, I mean, it's teamwork uh, and, uh, and we had a lot of fun. And I think uh, that's very important because n nowadays when we hear about refugees and w when we watch the news, it's like a big tragedy. And it is, of course, a tragedy. But uh, if you work together, you can find solutions. We need to find solutions every day. We decide uh, what kind of story do, do we want to tell, how do we shoot it, how do we edit it, what's important. And so that's integration. And I mean, that's learning for, for me as well. I learned a lot of things uh, because he is very experienced. Mm. And so, I mean, it's, yeah. And we learned, we learned also many things from you. Yeah. And the point is, is uh, uh, maybe it's not, no. what did you learn from me? <laughs> <laughs> some Germans. Yeah, some German. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the most important thing. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, uh, um, the very important point that uh, we want to tell people also now, even in, in these days, that you can't judge a book from its scarf. Just read it, know it. So uh, we want to know each other, then you can't judge. This is maybe now uh, very important also yeah, of to course. tell people. And so, so we, we, we started at, at the border. Um, we, we, we shot the first uh, yeah. report um, in uh, November, I think. Yeah, yeah November. October. Or October. November. October, October, yes, yes. And um, now we did a few reports more. Yeah. Uh, and very different uh, kind of reports. We did this uh, story at the border with the refugees in the camp. And, uh, From different nationalities, Afghans, Syrians, Iraqis. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, uh, describe your experience. What yeah. was it like to, I mean, to, to somehow come back to the point where you started? Yeah, really. Uh, when, I, um, uh, when I did the interviews, I. I which each, uh, with each uh, question I remember myself, my trip, it was very deadly. And you know now I'm writing my story in um, two websites, blogs, uh, Sart Bita uh, and Fish on the Fleisch. Uh, it headlines, uh, headlined by Warum Ostreich. It's written uh, in uh, German, English and Arabic. And now I'm doing the sixth episode. Um, so it was uh, difficult to ask, and I know how, what to ask, because I, I know 
each moment uh, the refugee came or uh, yes in different ways but it's the same trip to get away but in different ways some hearts some easy some you know so each question and you saw with the, the the report each person i took from him from him or, or her an information of the impressions of the uh, of the difficulties the sufferings so we gave i think we gave a real image or it is not a good image because this is a, a tragedy but a tragedy but it was a real image really and people uh, really uh, felt it that time but i have uh, a serious question a lot of people ask me what do we really do different what kind of story can you tell that another journalist from austria or germany can't tell so what is it what is the other perspective is it that you speak the language that you experienced uh, the more or less the same uh, what would be your answer why do we have to do it okay um, for me everybody has a reason and everybody has uh, your own fears yeah the team another perspective it's It's just simply all about another face, another thinking. Because as a, as a cameraman and um, a hardcore cameraman, not all cameramen knows how to take a very risky job. Yeah, and um, in my own country, you don't really have a right. Yeah, I, I, would, I would like to tell anybody that wants to know about another perspective as a cameraman if you really want to take a difficult report you can travel to nigeria and take a difficult report let's see if you will come back with your head on your neck yeah so it's another perspective also knowing yeah him came from far he has passed through the hard times but so many journalists has not passed through what he has passed through Outside him being a journalist, now he can understand what it takes to pass through hell as a journalist. So it's simply another perspective. Not just a journalist that went to school, graduated from school, went on the set and starts presenting. It's another perspective which is he has gone through hell. He has seen death face to face, but still yet, he is still presenting. That's why it's another perspective. Yeah. And uh, why do we need to do different reports? I mean, we started at the border, but this can't be the end. So we cannot always uh, go back to all the borders and do this kind of reports. Why did we do the report about the Krampus? Ayat did, uh, from my point of view, the, the, the best report of refugee TV so far about the Krampus love in Anif. <coughs> and uh, I love this report, but tell me what, what is it about? Yeah, uh, I think the borders, it, uh, Refugee TV, it's like a, a journey, it's like a, a trip with refugees and it, it started at the borders. Now, after the borders, what happened to the refugees? What about the integration? What about the people who helped? What about the uh, impressions inside? And um, the other perspective, as uh, my friend Stewart said, that yes, each journalist here can say how you come, what the sufferings, but we know, we don't ask how we come, we ask why you come, when you come, and we know the details of each uh, stage, so we can give the, the, the feeling, we can give the, uh, the real image of these uh, sufferings. Krampuslav, uh, it was a <laughs> really a good experience for me, because I didn't see it, but we You, I, you know, uh, we find many mutual uh, common points uh, between the two cultures. In Iraq also we have Christians and we, have to, uh, uh, we had to celebrate with them. And uh, my best friends, was, uh, they were Christians in, uh, in my district. 
So, uh, but we don't have crumbles. We have the uh, the Santa Claus. Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, really. But uh, um, I found, and uh, I think you you know the the reports, and for for the people, we found that this fear uh, of of uh, crumbles. Uh, I get the idea and told David, fear can be represented in many ways. Yeah, this is Krampus, this is the, uh, the presenting. But we took two uh, uh, refugees from two different countries. They are both are from Iraq and Syria. And they saw this. One of them, he said, uh, uh, I'm about to flee because I, I, I remember the violence. And in other way, to the other hand, there's Nicholas, the good thing. Uh, um, so I get the idea that fear can be represented, as I said uh, at the final, fear can be represented in many ways. The worst is war now for refugees. This is the other perspective. But also, good can be represented in many different and stronger ways, like Nicholas. And we found Nicholas in Austrian people who open their doors, who, who give us the smile, they say welcome, give us help. This is also another. Uh, another way or shape or picture for Nicholas represented in, by these Austrian people. So th this is the mixing. This is the other perspective, I think. And I think people, uh, it touched the hearts of people. I get many yes. <laughs> good comments. It my heart. <laughs> yeah, yes, really. yes. So it was a, a good experience and we want to go on now about integration, about the relations, about the uh, cultures also, according uh, and also um, by side there, what's happening, what uh, what's going on, and I think uh, I am uh, I am happy in this refugee TV, and I think it will be uh, bigger than this start. What's next? What what's our next report? What would you like to do? What, what story do we need to to uh, to tell now? Because you you know that the, the situation changes every week. Yeah. And what do we have to? Do now. Yes, uh, I think the, the concept I I had some couple of days ago, I, and the concept was that, yeah, Mr. David has found me as a cameraman, and he has found Hayad as a reporter. There are so many talented people, refugees. There are so many refugees that has so many things to show to give to Australians. So I think it's right and high time for us to go round and at least get more people that has concepts on presentation, that has concepts on music. Let's, let's use the word entertainment because entertainment is broad. I think it's high time we go out, since he has found us, it's not high time we go out to find entertainers in the refugees camp and let's see what we can give to Austrians. Austrians have tried for us. You mean show business? Should we do like, uh, what do you mean by entertaining? No, not really a show business, not really a business. Yeah. yeah. Yes, let's, 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 yeah, they can't just watch us bringing reports, reports, reports. Now it's high time for us to entertain them with diverse um, 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 cultures. Yes, like, um, maybe a single group from Iraq, a single group from Africa. Yeah. Yeah. Different cultures. Let's scout and get them. Let's put them together. It's all about putting more. Um, what's the word for it? More um, colors in the refugees TV because sometimes if we go on a talk shows, if we go on a um, street interview, it gets so boring. Some entertainment, like yeah, so um, Austria searches the refugee superstar. Superstar, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just, just like that. I think it will be good. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, <laughs> well. Why not? I have. Yeah. Why not? not? I have to think about it. But mm -hmm. what do you think? Yeah. Um, besides of entertainment. Besides of entertainment, you know, as of, uh, as if I am a journalist, and you know, I always looking for events, so I want to use. Uh, what happened in Germany, and um, I think my next report it will be uh, inside the refugees and their opinions about this, because they uh, they are many many of them, almost of them, uh, they are working hard to give uh, the the real image 
for, for their humanity suffering, for, for, for their feelings here. And, uh, you know, uh, some events happened, uh, maybe collapse everything. You know, uh, when you build a building, it takes you maybe two years. But when you want to, to destroy it, it's just f few minutes. So uh, we want to rebuild this image again, and uh, I want to make a report inside the refugees, females, males also, families. What do, th what, uh, what do they think about this event? And also combined with Austrian people about their image now, about their fears. Because the, I think one of the main uh, reasons of refugee TVs is to, to, uh, to clear the image and to get the fears away from both sides. Because Austrian or maybe European people, they are afraid from refugees for one, two, three, four, five reasons. And the refugees also are afraid because they are risking their life and they don't know what will happen, if they will be uh, accepted or not. So their lives are now uh, on the line, on the point. So we need, to, as we said, refugee TV is a bridge yes. to understand and maybe to open uh, uh, many doors. So my next report, I think, I will do it uh, with refugees and Western people about this event and like the Vopops and we will conclude with, uh, uh, we will, I think we will get a, a, to a conclusion that, uh, as I said, uh, uh, you wear a, a white t-shirt hmm. and there's uh, one very teeny spot, black. All the eyes will go to, to this uh, black spot. My report, uh, my report idea, don't look, uh, don't look to this spot. Look to the white shirt and this spot, maybe you can wash it because it's, it's not real. It's not the real color. On, on this sh shirt. This is my, I think, with this report now. Yeah, that's good. So we talked about the content. What about um, how big do we want to be? I mean, we, we all together visited the ORF and we thought uh, kind of we should take over because, I mean, it wouldn't be much better if we <laughs> three yeah. run the ORF. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. And now we are, we are doing the planning how to do it. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> But, but we don't uh, we don't do it in a violent way. We will take over by, uh, yeah, yeah. by by brain power. Of yes, that's, that's absolute because there is no TV with with violence. It will it will not be a TV. Yeah, it will be an action film. That's but, true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, why not? Yeah, all that all the small dreams comes like this. Now we are met in your house, in my house, sometimes in the street. I think after a while we will meet in our headquarters. In our headquarters. Yeah. <laughs> and where should it be and how should it look like? I, I think... Uh, Music, entertainment. Yeah. Yeah, um, it's a gradual process. Um, in Nigeria we have this added, we, we say, a little drop of water makes an ocean. Yeah, we've started small, but from the very first day you told me, I told you something, I said it's going to be big. Yeah, it's, I, I don't look at Refugee TV to be contained in just Austria. No, it's going to be wild. And I know within some short while, yeah, we are going to be bigger and we are going to be stronger. Because I, I believe something, I believe we know what it means to be a refugee. Well, well I don't know. Yeah, you really don't know. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. really don't yeah. know. But I know, you, I know. You too know. Yeah. Maybe, maybe we have to, to take him for a trip as a refugee and he will know. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That, that, that's what, that will also come when... Yeah. That will I can't come. laugh about this, but you can because you made the experience. Yeah. Yeah, really. Yes, yeah. that, will, that will also come when it's big. Yeah. Yeah, so it's going to be big very, very soon. Not too far from here. And all we need is for us to be together, for us to think together, because you can, you can pick up just one stick of broom and you can break it. But if you have the bunch of broom, no matter how you bend it, it won't get broken. So if we stick together within some short time from now, I think we'll be coming out with Refugee TV International and we are going to go straight. I will do it because I believe one thing 
if you are not ordained to die in a war front, you won't die. Even though you see misers coming to you, you won't die. So I'm ready to go across the border. I'm ready to go to the ocean, to the sea, take a report from there, show people what it means to go through the sea. I'm ready to go through every aspect just to show you what it means to be a refugee so that you won't be surprised one day you watching also can be a refugee anytime that is it yeah, and as uh, and he said um, it will grow as an ocean but the ocean needs rivers to be an ocean mm -hmm. so these rivers are the support from people and i think the main uh, river we need now not just the, the financial uh, aspect but the people uh, should believe in refugee tv when we give them the real thing they will believe it if they believe it they will grow this is i think the main rivers for the ocean mm -hmm. uh, and and i think it will be an ocean so well i think this is it um yeah um it's easy to believe in us. Do you think it's easy to believe in us? We, we, we need to ask the yeah, audience. If, yeah. if you give it from your heart and if you uh, say the truth, of course the truth will reach the heart of the people. Yeah. Yeah. But you mentioned uh, supporting, so it's possible to support Refugee TV. Please support the crowdfunding. Famous <laughs> last sentences. <Yeah. laughs> Thank you. Thank you.